Good evening, yoga friends. Happy Wednesday. It's great to see you. I love Wednesday yoga because it's not Monday yoga. <laughs> anyway, Looney says hi. He's kind of uh, getting ready to lose his mind here. Good evening, yoga friends. Happy Wednesday. Oops. Welcome if you're joining on YouTube live stream. Welcome to my beloved Zoomer. It's great to have you on board. <clears throat> almost almost to December, cold little nights. Good to hang out with your friends, relax, take a load off. It's really good to see you. If you're joining on YouTube, this is uh, Looney. He's the yoga cat. He's the reason most people watch. He's actually not a cat. He's a snow mountain puma. Very rare. Half cat, half terrifying predator. <laughs> You wiggle your legs out a couple of times. I'm going to wiggle Looney's legs out a couple of times. We all should learn to relax like cats. Nice deep breath. I can go hours without paying attention to my breath. And sometimes it's like just three cleansing breaths can make all the difference in the world. Welcome if you're just stopping by. Good to have you. It's Wednesday yin plus joint juice plus restorative. It's good for you. Swallow one, circle jaw around. I think I see uh, Polly Wog and Ann getting in class. So it's our tribe. It's good to be with your friends. Nice turnout tonight. You can fall asleep if you want. I'll wake you up. Sometimes you need a little afternoon nap. Something wonderful is coming our way. I think it's important to cultivate that expectancy, that positive, optimistic take on reality. 
we are the shapers of our own destiny. So something wonderful is coming. You don't even have to know what. And by relaxing and clearing our minds, we put ourselves in a position to receive. Two, three more minutes. Let's breathe from our belly now. Let's get our abdominal breathing going. Let's feel our feels. Let's connect deeper into our body. Less head, more body. Breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. I'll do the same right here with you. Okay, big inhale, everybody. Exhale, let all go. We're calm, empty souls. We practice peace together. We make room for something wonderful to come our way. Okay, wiggle your fingers and toes, circulate aliveness through yourself. Aliveness is a good quality. Arms up to the ceiling, stretch up over your head, writhe around, point your toes, big goofy grin on your face. If you're doing yoga next to your beloved, roll on top of him, just kidding. Good. Draw your knees in and uh, roll around on your back a little bit. It's how we roll, you guys. Okie doke. Roll on up, you guys. Man, what a good turnout. I see so many good Zoomer friends. We got Ann, we got the Wog, we got Helgs, we got Ann, we got Jennifer, we got Mojgan. Got Kristen, we got the Sh all the Schultzes, we got Stuart, we got other people in the waiting room, and we got all the YouTubers. It's really good to see you. Let's chant Om, and then we'll go through our body and make sure we stay healthy, happy, and strong. It's going to be pretty mellow except for push ups and sit ups because I need it. Inhale. So. So what have you been up to today? Have you been up to evolutionary, fun, educational, interesting projects? I have been. I took a hip hop dance lesson. Oh, my God. Well, it's one more thing I've got to learn. Anyway, um, I sure I'm glad I get to recuperate shoulders. One, two, three, four. I'll tell you what, those young ones make that hip hop dancing look awfully easy. Five, six, 
seven, eight, plus loony was in and out, up and around, between my legs, up my back, down. It was hilarious. Four, five. We need some soothing. We need some self-care. We need some bodily joint juice, some joint lubricant. Eight, good. Especially my neck. Lace your hands, thumbs up. Drag your thumbs down the side of your neck. Ooh, it feels better. Four, five, six. So now I need to add a daily, at least half an hour of dance to my routine. How's this all going to fit, you guys? Seven, eight. There's time somewhere. Dig your thumbs underneath your jaw. Relax your face into your hands. Do I watch a half an hour of YouTubes every day mindlessly? <laughs> at least dig in underneath your jaw. Oh. Six, seven, eight. Good. Hold steady pressure. Lose your mind. Good. Drop the chin. Take coconuts around. One, two. It's not so much how you feel after the dance lesson is how you feel the next morning. So thank God I'm doing joint juice, getting the galactic acid out, lactic acid out. Six, seven, eight, one. I think even one joint juice a week is good. Two, probably better. Three, best. Six, seven, eight. Good, relax your head down for 13 seconds, eyes closed. Stop thinking, stop thinking. Have you noticed a sudden influx of emails from marketers wanting to sell you something on Cyber Monday? How do they get our email address? Anyway, irrespective of shopping and sales, we are calm and peaceful souls. All right, that's a good start. Yoga block, yoga body, yoga seat, yoga forward fold. Uh, if you need to go left and right, I wouldn't blame you a bit. You can freestyle a little bit in the midst of the structure. That's what I'm trying to do in music. I learned enough structure. Now I try to improvise and it's really bad and it's okay. You just goof around. Everybody had to do it at some point. Oscillate, wag your shag, relax your hair. Good, now let's hold still for 10 seconds, not a movement. Excellent. Please to come up, you guys. Okay, switch the cross of, I think they're called your piernas. Abrazos y piernas. And come on down, make a pedestal for your headestal. If your head doesn't come down that far, don't rush. Now, squinch, that's an interesting word. Squinch your shoulders up by your ears and then relax that. Drop your elbows. Okay, let's walk our hands over to the right, that classical movement from way back in the day. Walk your hands over. If your belly's in the way, lift it. 
Put your left hand on your right hand if you're bendier than average bears. Bears, that's how they say it in Chicago, the Chicago Bears. And sink in, S-Y-N-C-I-N, sink in. And let's saunter our paw prints over to the other side. You keep going and then you run out of room. That's interesting, the place where you can't go no further because that's the edge. That's the edge. Some people don't like the edge. They never want to go near it. It's like too scary, too hard, too much discipline. But if you go to your edge a little bit every day, you get a little bigger. Life is more free, less, less constrained. If you're on the edge all the time, you, you die quicker, but you ha have a little more fun. Is that Polywog? Oh my God, hi Wogs. It's the man, I love Polywog. I don't have grandchildren, but I do now. Good, walk your hands back to the center. Now from fingertips, long spine, look forward to polywog. Exhale, deep. Okay, come on up. Man, if I was polywog, I would study all the musical instruments. I would learn every language. I would take dance lessons. I would do gymnastics, but then I guess that's what all parents do with their kids. They try to live through them. Now, bottoms up, kids. Up you go. Uh, say something scientific. Uh, lift up. Be louder than your mates. Say, uh, and come on down. Great. I like where this is going. I've got everybody in my Tuesday night Pleasant Hill in-person class. There, I've trained them all to say, I like where this is going. They didn't mean it at the start. Arms out, palms up, touch your elbows together because you can. Bend your wrists and let's lean down into them. Now, I remember the day back at the Yoga Fusion, Anne would like to come forward and she'd put her belly into her elbows and she'd balance on her elbows, but she can't tonight. Drop your chin, make ujjayi breathing, soft, whispery seashell sound. Relax. You're a go, go, go person. You're always going somewhere. You're driving somewhere. You're working on something. You're helping somebody out. How about some you time? I know it's challenging to stretch your hands and wrists like this, but the bigger challenge would be not to do it and live with lobsterized hands. So that's not good. Walk well, doke. All right, now, feet together. That connects your AC and your DC. Did you know that? Yogis know all about that energetic flow. I'll explain it in some class, just not tonight. Internal, out turtle, in, out. We have an AC and a DC inside of us. Yogis call it sun and moon, or ha and tha, ha tha, sun, moon. Good, now all the in you got, go behind your back, brings them up your back, pack them in your pits, elbows inside your knees, and squeeze your knees together. Drop your chin, get all egg-like. Most of you are doing this, some of you are doing something else entirely different. I can't really figure it out, but I'm not here to figure it out. Squeeze. Good, now, roly-poly guacamoles. I've not eaten yet today, so I am starving and I'm going to eat everything in sight, but not until class is over. Other way, one, two, three, four, five, 
this is the best thing. This is just the best thing. You just look how wavy and beautiful my arm. Look how wavy and beautiful your arms are. It didn't help in my hip hop dance lesson, but now I'm damn frustrated. And I'm going to work it out. You can come over and dance with me whenever you want. I've got the hop, but not the hip so much. Hello, hello. It's a ritual and the word spiritual is the word ritual. You got to have a daily plan of action. You got to have a plan. Cup your hands at your heart. Be spiritual for a sec. What's it feel like? <laughs> That's the just what does it feel like? One of these days, my life is going to start. It's all going to turn out. Well, chances are it's already happened. Here we are. Okay, now lovingly massage the middle center bottom of your feet. It's better when somebody else does it, but you got to, who wants to arrange that, right? So do it yourself. Go a little deeper than usual. Mm. Good, now thumbnail, middle, center, bottom. Close your eyes and stimulate. Excellent. Now, tonight, I'm glad you tuned in because tonight we're going to reduce all the mental tension, anxiety, and worry in our minds forever. We're getting rid of all of it tonight. It's just, we're done, okay? So, put your left ankle over your right ankle, right where, it, find the place where it hurts the worst, okay? No blanket tonight. Click, everybody leaves the class. Just kidding. Stay, namaste, left ankle over your right. It's kind of a little bit of an ouchy feeling, isn't it? Now, just fold down until it gets progressively worse, better. Now, if Polywog did this, he'd come all the way down. It wouldn't hurt at all. But if you're an adult, your feet and ankle and shins and calves have all congested and gotten all atrophied and now we're going to lean down into that jennifer show todd how to do it relax your toes we're all here to learn something from our mates which is why i don't have one because i don't need to learn anything inhale look forward exhale just a little more group pain together okay Good time to take roll, soften your toes. Toothpaste is gonna to come out of your toes. I've lost the Schultzes on this one. They're not doing it anymore. Good, now come on up. Oh, don't worry, somebody's gonna feel much better after this, but not yet. Now we're gonna put our right ankle over our left ankle. I remember when Mark Horner, my teacher, would have us do this and I would just, I would just think the worst thoughts of him as I would come down over my rapidly breaking ankles, he would come down and just push my face all the way down into my feet. If you complained, it was only worse. Relax your shoulders, breathe into the feel good. And make Polly do this, okay? Not a problem. Some of you are just eating popcorn watching this. I'm going to have to have a little chat with you next time I see you. Okay, come on up. All right, now stretch your right ruined legs out in front of you. Stretch. To, see how much better you feel already? All right. Arms up in the air pose. Stick them up. Usual suspects. Push out through your heels. 
straighten your legs so much your heels lift if you're a hyper extender -er. now see where my hands are in relation to the cat tree Ooh, way up higher looney come on out we need you no one likes my class so far good now yoga fists for strong wrists and see how much higher you can lift when your feet ankles knees and shins and calves are all opened up you're welcome lift up Good jogies. And come on down. Very nice. Good job. Now, remember back in the day, we would just cross our right ankle outside our left knee like this. And you would just, we'd be kind of cash like this. It wasn't a problem yet. And then we would slide our butt into our heel all the way in till, there, till it, it docks together. Remember that? That's a bit of a stretch. Now, do you remember what we would do from here? We would go over our left foot and bring our left knee down. Now, I'm just not gonna do that because my knee would break, okay? So I like this right here, this is fine. Good, nobody else is doing it, so good. Kristen's trying it. Good, now come back to where I am, which is where the cool people are hanging out. Now, keep your left heel down and lift your butt as high as you can. How come your butt won't go higher? Because now we're going to stand on our left tippy toes and now we can go way up high. Then we can sink our heel down. Then cleverly, we'll take our knee down over to the left and then we'll walk forward. And I'm going to shake, shake my left hand with you guys. Shake beg, take your elbow outside your knee, fold your forearm up, take your right arm behind you, twist to the right. Close your eyes, breathe in, let yourself be squeezed and twisted. Tongue tied and twisted the way I like to be is your Right foot flat on the floor, or are you kind of on the little baby toe side? Can you clean that up a little bit, please? Good. Now let's use our core a little more. Stay in the pose. Lace your hands and stretch all the way up to the sky. I didn't get that. Could you try? Siri, you're pissing me off. Stretch up. Good. Now bring your arms down. Take your left elbow in around your knee. Really hug it in. <coughs> Tuck your tummy in. Ugh. Now I'm really going to take my elbow outside my knee. I'm going to reach down and grab this foot. Now it's a stronger twist. Because tonight we're squeezing out the crap. Fold your right arm around behind you. Turn your chest all the way to the right. Then take your <clears throat> face all the way to the left. Inhale here. Exhale here as well. Now you come out. Now cleverly, you just take this right knee ankle construct. You fold, fold, fold it under. And then we counterpose by extra super rocket buns to the sky pose. Way up, please. A little higher. Good. Now buns, buns land, bun landing, not knots landing, buns landing. Now just you guys lean all the way on your back because you, well, you can't but some people can lean back. I'm going for my elbows tonight. Yin yoga, just some asana tonight.
Sufficient, please come up from that good one. Now in this brilliant sequence, bring your right foot out, right ankle over your left knee. Feed all of your four left fingers into your four right toes, assuming, or sorry, five right toes. I don't know how many. Just get your fingers in these little gaps, please. That's always an adventure. Good. Now grab your shin and crank a doodle dandy on your ankle. Ugh. Good, Todd. Todd does not get enough compliments. I pick on him too much because I love him. Other way. Do it, Howie. Get your paws going. Two, four, six, eight. Good. Now super squeeze your right toes into your left fingers. Really. <laughs> Your left toes splay open, the sound of one hand praying at your heart. Drop your chin and be a calm, elegant, beautiful, peaceful soul. Peace is a practice. Stillness is a practice. Good, my beauties. Now, extract fingers out. Ugh. Inhale, grab elbows. Wake them, W-O-I-K, wake them side to side. Good, Helga, good movement. Ausgesichnet, wunderbar. Arms up and out. Right arm under, whoosh. Oh, it's good to see you. Holds them up. And ups and downs or circles or whatever just kind of tears your shoulder blades off. Just whatever you're doing, just do more. <laughs> so I sound like your boss at work, right? Whatever you're doing, just do more. That's a, a job description of a boss. Never happy. Good. Now take chest elbows all the way to the right. Face all the way to the left. Tilt your head to the left, kind of sassy. Drop your chin, kind of saucy. Close your eyes. Be unusually happy. There's just something about being in Greg's class that's just intoxicating. Good. Now, as you bring your elbows back, watch how cleverly your left forearm will land on top of your right forearm. See that? Close your eyes, put the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Think of a really difficult time in your life, that time in class when you had to cross your ankles and lean forward. Now it's better. Good, now swim through the ether toward me. Grab your right wrist with your left hand and massage your tattoo back here. Feels good. Other way. Mm. Good. Now keep your hands thus behind thy back and go to where thou goest on thy forward foldest. Come on down. Inhale, come up. And we'll inhale for one of our world famous ohms.
Good now, I invite you to pray for yourself or the world or a friend, but whatever prayer means to you, let's take 30 seconds of private time. Good, you guys. Very nice. Man, I have to remember that whole sequence on the other side. Fortunately, I do. Bottoms up. We're going to get our body from every angle. We're going to get all the lactic acid out from bouncing around with a 25 year old hip hop crazy insane teacher. And come on down. What is wrong with me? Why don't I just get a rocking chair? <laughs> Hardly. Good. Now, left ankle over your right knee like this. Do you remember what we did? We slid in until our butt docked with our heel. Remember that? And then we thought, God, remember the old days? We'd go over our right toes and bring our right knee down. And man, we did that. A couple of you are trying it. I admire that. Just some things you don't have to do anymore. You know, it's pretty cool. Now, keep your right heel down and super escalate your high knee to heaven. Up you go. High knees to heaven. I think that was a heavy metal song from the 80s. Lift up. Now, right tippy toes as well. Woo! Ugh. I love yoga. And come on down. Good. All right. And this drops this way. Remember that? I like that because then you automatically end up in half Lord of the Fishies pose. Now, turn toward us, me, you, you, me, and shake hands with your right hand with me. Lean way. It's somebody shaking hands. You're a politician. You're reaching way out. Now, hook your elbow outside your knee arm up, hand behind, turn left, close your eyes, and squeeze yourself like a sponge in a bachelor's house. Turn left. Relax your shoulders, though. If most of the world would just twist more, it would be better. Inhale here. Exhale, remove paw or arm out of there. Lace mitts. Lace one finger over the weird feeling way that changes your polarity. Stretch up. Ugh. Siri, 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 I'm just going to have to stop that. Now, turn left, 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 more left. Inhale. Exhale. Now, take your right elbow around your knee. Hug in really tight. Stretch all of this here. And now, hold your leg in place and really crank your elbow over the top. Ugh. Got to get my belly out of the way. I'm going to reach down and grab my right foot. You can grab your left knee if you want, your right knee. Now, left arm behind your back. Twist more to the left. I'm challenging you a little bit tonight. And now just your face to the right. Just to the left, legs all some askew. This pose, this pose touches so many different bodily energy points that you're golden. Inhale here. Exhale, come out of that constricted place. We're totally going to counterpose by shifting this around here. 
pause behind you and super buns to the ceiling, super buns, cinnamon buns to heaven, higher cinnamon buns, up they go. And a little higher. Und come down. Now just lay on your back in Supta Arta Virasana, unless your knee says, no, we're not going to do that. But if you can, do. And if you can't, review. The bendies are laying all the way back, you know, Jennifer, Kristen, Helga, everybody but me. Stuart's leaning all the way back, probably. Fabulous. And this extra clever sequence continues by coming up. And another counter pose as we drag left leg out like this. And we bring it around and we put it there now, all these cool places. Then we grab our elbow and switch it the weird feeling way. And then you bring it up and you vogue a little bit. It's 1990. Oh boy, that is good for you. Good, arms up, touch top of cat tower, a little higher. Arms out, big pause, left arm under, fold them up. And then really, I'm gonna ask you to freestyle and make, just find the place, find the place. Polly Wog's having a typically enthusiastic time in class, bouncing. That's the one thing I notice about young, young people is they bounce a lot. They're always bouncing. And it seems like older people don't bounce quite so much, but we're bouncing here, move it around. Good. I don't know how old we are, but we're going to make a new paradigm of what it means to be your age in terms of your friskiness, health, function, and hip hop dancing. Good. Now, chest elbows all the way to the left, as far as you can go, face two. Now face all the way to the right. Tilt your head to the right to stretch your left trapezius. Tilt forearms other way. Close your eyes. We're calm, peaceful souls. <laughs> We're calm, peaceful. Good. Now, when your hands slide out, I wonder now, is it your right forearm that's on top? If not, sorry, relax your hands. Close your eyes, chin level, eyes closed. Tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Stop thinking. Oh, I stopped thinking there for a second. It was paradise. Good. Now swim, swim through the jello toward me. Weird dream. Grab left wrist, right hand. Massage your th back part thing here. Ooh. Ooh. Other way. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Now keep your paws there. That's a yoga mudra to grab your wrist behind your back like that it has super magical powers. And fold over your pearl. Your piece is your pearl. You don't give it away. Relax your head. And you should start a program where we have Polly come over to each one of our class, our house once a week, and everybody gets Polly once a week. That'd be so much fun. Polly says, yeah. Inhale, look forward, bright future. Exhale, deep. Uh.
Good, my friendly friends, and please to come up. And we just take our thumbnails under our big toe knuckle and massage into that kind of irritating, wonderful, spicy, miserable part. Dig in so you kind of go out deeper. Polly, I miss you. Let's visit next week. What do you say, big guy? Inhale for an ohm. Time stood still there. Did you feel it? Okay, now I know you guys have yoga blocks because I know, well, I don't know the YouTubers have them. Get them if you don't, but my yoga friends, my Zoomers do. And so we're going to do just bridge, just a little, maybe one or two blocks underneath your tail feathers. Knees in, legs up. That three, four, five inch lift of your hips, it does so much for our circulation, our digestion, our circulation. Thirty seconds, you can do it. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Good. Now, here's something we haven't done for a while with your buns up on the blocks, keeping your butt on the blocks. How far will your legs come over your head? Will they come all the way down to the floor with your butt staying on the block? I bet they don't. Of course, we could roll all the way over into shoulder stand, but I have never taught shoulder stand because I don't think most people, but this is fine right here. Now, if you're Helga, your legs come all the way over perfectly in line, but just this. Good, safe, slow, patient, miserable, delightful forward fold. I like the anchoring of my Hips on the block. Good, now just left hand, grab your left leg and let your right leg come all the way down to the floor. Ooh. So in this class, you don't have to be the most flexible person in the world. You could be the like right in the middle somewhere. And just this, if you can reach up and grab your left foot, more power to you. And now bring your right leg back up. If it's still attached, grab your right hamster, hamstring. And let your left leg all the way down. Oh, yeah, this feels, this feels great. Now, if you want to bend your right knee and grab your right big toe, if you can straighten them all out, then man, you're my hero. I'm taking your class, but right now you're taking my class because you've got class hold here. Good. Now both knees are in. Yes. Both legs are up. Yes. And then Das splits out to the side. Let your uh, tailbone kind of spill over the far edge of the block a little bit. That'll throw some more weight into your groins. This is so good for you. Oh, 
about arms up over our head just to make it a little more expressive. You can now wrap your left thigh all the way over your right thigh as strongly as you can. Slink your left ankle underneath your right ankle for my sewing machine leg friends. And then let your right foot all the way down to the floor. I'm going to lift my block up one size. I want to get a little more zing out of this. No lactic acid for me tomorrow. Ooh, now, now I'm getting it. If it's too easy, just lift your butt some more on more block. You can now bring your crossed knees in. Retake your leggies back up to the ceiling. Two dust splits one more time. Todd and I used to do this on the first tee when we were during golf season to warm up. You can now super wrap your right thigh over your left thigh. Slink your right ankle underneath your left ankle if you can. If you can't, too bad. Then bring your left foot down slowly to the floor. Oh, goodness. Hip flexors. Let it sink in. It's Wednesday. Take a little time. Good knees in, kitty cats. Legs up. One more widespread. Yoga was widespread. Good, now legs back up. Keep your tail feathers on the block and Urdva Prasarita, I'm sorry, uh, Urdva Hashimotanasana, upside down Hashimo. It's not shoulder stand because our booty buns are staying on the block. Let your thigh bones sink in. Explore. I like this. It's been too long for this one. Good. Then legs back up. Now arms by the side of your body for stability. Careful on this one. If you have any kind of lower back thing going on, sometimes we do. You might want to skip this. Lower your legs a third of the way. I will hold this for a minute, just kidding. But you have ripping strong core, not a problem. Now, fully optional to go one more third of the way here. Again, let your prudence be your guide. But I don't have prudence. Good, and then almost on the floor. Oh, oh. Good, and then feet all the way down. Oh, oh. Good, now pull your feet in, and how high can you lift your butt up off of the block? Lift up way high. Lace your hands underneath your tail feathers. Smooch your shoulder blades underneath you, and lift your butt as high as you can, bridge pose. Move hands out of the way, come down five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, knees out to the side, grab your elbows. Run over squirrel pose. 
Supta Bhada Konasana. All right, and then we'll sit up slowly, of course. Oh, everybody's still in class. I worry so. I've got abandonment issues. Sometimes I come back up and think nobody will be there, but you guys are loyal. Good for you. Now, here's a Lauren Davis special from Danville Yoga Center circa 2004, maybe. But fortunately, we don't have hideous hickory blocks. We have soft foam blocks made out of Soylent Blue. And you guys know this one. You could even do this one for Shavasana if you want, but one underneath the heart, one underneath the head. Of course, you make your blocks bigger, smaller, wider, taller. Right on my bra. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> that feels great. All right, that. And I'm just going to have my legs in lotus pose. And I'm going to, we're going to do this one for two minutes. And then we'll do Shavasana, okay? Make sure you're getting a big old heart spine, chest ripping, sternum wrenching, heart releasing, feel good thing here. You can have your legs extended, knees out, whatever. This is for the this part up here. Now, when I'm pretty warmed up like I am tonight, I'm really going to challenge. I'm going to make sure my head's supported, but I'm barely going to support it. I am just going to Golden Gate Bridge my chest here and oh, right there. Extend my legs out. Take my arms up over my head. Keeps you young, you guys. Anti-aging, fountain of youth stuff. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Lunes. My cat's worried about me. Okay, now fingertips on the back of your head. Who's going to feed me, he says. Todd and Jennifer would come over and feed him. Good, now arms forward and sit up with ripping strong core. All right. What do you think of those apples? Five minutes of Shavasana, not impeded by any hideous boulders underneath your body. Good job, everybody. Night, Helga. Avita saying. Now, if you're a YouTuber and it's like, what are they doing? Are they just going to lie on their back and be vegetables? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. It's called Shavasana. Yogis invented it 5,000 years ago. It means dead person pose. It's the best. I'm not allowed to do it. I have to manage the class and YouTube analytics. But you guys be totes vegetables for five blissful minutes.
By the way, you did really good. You deserve your peace and quiet. It's you time. Enjoy.
Okay, friends, stay relaxed in the pose. It's a good time to invite in HP, higher power, if you'd like. Then you might wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate extra super feel God through yourself, being one of God's nerve endings, you know. One of the smart ones, that is. Good deep breath back in your skin suit, feeling good. Curl onto your right side when you're ready. Then keeping our eyes closed, of course, goes without saying. We'll sit it up together, eyes closed, being all spiritual and stuff. We'll bring all available hands to our heart. We'll drop our chin, we'll be amazing. All together we say, Namas Wednesday. Good job. YouTubers, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Just going to keep saying it till you do it. So you might as well just go ahead and get her done. So 